what's new guys back with a fresh vinyl review and today we're going to be looking at the x plus 25 centimeter large monster series Dimension. bam okay so check it out if you guys have not seen the Dimension trilogy yet you gotta check it out you gotta get it you could pick up the blu-ray off of amazon right now i know at the time it is recording it is out of stock uh but for 15 bucks give or take you know with shipping or whatever you could get the whole trilogy the, the trilogy came out in 1966. Actually, the first film, um, we just celebrated its 50th anniversary on April 17th. So you got to check out Daimajin. It's set in the feudal period of Japan. Samurais and all this good stuff. And, oh, it's awesome. It is much different from what we're used to watching from Godzilla, Gamera, and Ultraman films. But it is so familiar you're going to love it if you haven't seen it. So please, t I'm telling you, it will be the best 15 bucks you could probably spend on some classic Showa greatness. It is a must-see trilogy. Must-see. Okay, let's talk about the figure. So, this figure came out. Um, this is a reissue, first of all. This was just released at the uh, end of April. Um, I've had it for about, I don't know what, a couple, maybe a week or so now. Um, but this is a reissue. It came out a while ago. I don't remember the exact date. When it came out, but it's a few years old. I have been wanting to track down this specific release of this figure because it comes with these awesome chains that were used in the film. If you've seen it, uh, because I thought that really gave the figure a lot of depth. You know, there was some other figures, you know, with special color variations. He's got his arms out. He's doing that. Um, he's got one with the cross. That's the Rick from the second Diamond film. But I really, really wanted this one because I really love the first film. I think it's written great. The acting is. It's great. I, I really think it's good acting. But the movie itself, it was paced perfectly. Somebody said it on my Facebook page. I'm going to quote him. He's like, you know, you, the reward, it's, it's, it's a reward for the patient viewer. I think it's something like that he said. So if you're watching that, bam, great, great um, choice of words to describe the film. Anyway, so the figure, I'm done yapping. This is the box that it came in, okay? It's much like the X-Plus boxes that the 25-centimeter gamma figures come in. But this is the box. It comes with some plastic stuff. You know, it's more plastic stuff and the instructions. Um, it comes with a stand. Uh, I left the plate in the box here, so uh, I'm going to chuck my box. But before we do that, I'm going to take the plate out and, you know, I'll get, the, I'll get the plate out. So that's the box, okay? It comes with an extra arm. Why does it come with an extra arm? Because... This is actually the arm that the figure comes with, okay? So you get your hair dryer, get his shoulder nice and squishy soft. Make sure you put some deodorant on because he's probably going to stink like vintage uh, goddess. God, he's not a goddess, he's a, you know, he's a male, uh, you know, armpit, whatever. So you get this arm off, you put this one in. This is the bonus arm right here, okay? This arm comes with a clenched fist. He's got, um, you could actually pass the chain through his fist. I couldn't actually get it all the way through. I'm having trouble getting it. Um, you know through the other side of his hand, but um, I managed to get it on so I could wrap the chain around his wrist like that So this hand that comes with you know standard with the figure. It's you know the, the fist is there is no entry You know to put the chain through so I'm gonna leave it like that. So that's the extra arm Okay, now the figure itself. I'm gonna tell you right now. This figure is beautiful. I uh, the detail It's really really great. Uh, first thing I'm gonna point out is that um, it has this weathered bronze-like look to it. Jim Jenkins, you mentioned it on the X-Plus Collectors Group the other day when we were talking about the figure, and I, I really love the look that this figure has. It looks like, you know, like, like a statue. It really does look great. Um, so that looks good. The detail is great. One other little feature here that I like is the knife comes out. Okay, there you go. Very nice. Pretty cool. Um... Again, I really love the chains. There's two packs of chains. This is one set of chains. The other one's in the box somewhere. I'll grab that and, you know, I'll make this setup look really, really awesome. Um, the shoulder pads, nicely done. Um, everything looks great, you know, from the sides, the legs. There's some movement here in the legs just to get your positioning right. Again, these figure X Plus people, not meant for articulation, so we knew that. The face... Oh, look at the face. So what are you going to do with the face here? Here's another good feature about this figure is the face. You pop off the face and you could adjust the eyes. You could make them look that way, look that way, look that way. You could put one up, one down, side to side, whatever. So all you're going to do to do that is you're going to pull underneath his chin and pull out. It's relatively easy. And then you got the face off, okay? You know, and then you could sit back here with these two little tits 
for his eyes and just move him from from side to side, okay? Really nice. And then to put him back on, it, I don't really I didn't really need to do anything with getting it squishy soft, but you're just going to want to set it back in there, push up and press it on. And voila, piece of cake, right? Good. Easy. It's a nice feature. I think I might give him cross-eyed once, something like that, just for the fun of it. But um, the figure's beautiful. If you haven't picked it up, you know, this is this is the one they get because it's the reissue. they got the chain, the movable eyes. It's got the extra arm. What else has it got? It's got the great stand to make him stand because he doesn't stand without the stand. <laughs> anyway, um, but it's X+. Plus. Oh, another thing here is that he's got the nail in the head. From when uh, the samurai clan, you know, they were they were going to destroy the statue, the Daimajin statue, because, you know, they didn't believe that he existed. And they start pounding into his head and he starts bleeding. Oh, yeah, now you pissed him off. Now you've done it. Bad samurai. Bad, bad, bad. So that's the figure. I love it. I'm so glad I love it. Well, I'm glad I love it. I have another one. I have a big one. This is by Sega. Just for a size comparison, this is like... Way bigger, obviously. I got this in Japan, but now I'm really... I, I am not, I am set with my Daimajin figures. If I do get one more, I would like to get one of just the statue before Daimajin wakes up. But that's uh, this is for the Sega. This is about 14 inches tall. Um, this is what he looks like next to Phil. Say hi, Phil. Okay, that's Phil. Shut up. You get your own video one day, maybe. So it's a size comparison. What else can we compare him with? Let's uh let's bring up the 91 because we all love the 91. Okay, this is a 30 centimeter Godzilla 91. Okay, so you see, 30 centimeter, 25 centimeter scale. Bam! Right? Good. Go down there for now. Put you back up later. So that's the figure. Um, I, I really love the face. It really captures the look of Daimajin from the film when he's, you know, when he woke up and he's about to delay destruction to the people that he's out to destroy. The eyes are really detailed. Everything looks great on this figure. I love it. Oh, I'm telling you, I, 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 after I'm done recording here, I'm gonna go sit down, and edit, and put on the Wrath of Daimajin. Yeah. Well, no, no, Return of Daimajin. Sorry. Second one. I'm gonna watch the second one. It's been a while since I watched them, but uh, I watched the the first one last night because it's awesome. I love it. All right, guys. So that's my review. Make sure you check out FreshFinalHQ.com. You know, it's database pictures and all that fun stuff. Updates. Um, Instagram, Twitter. Fit me up on the Facebook. You know, the social media crap. Okay. And um, I'll see you in my next Fresh Vinyl review. And thank you for watching. If you like what you if you like what you saw here, buy the DVD trilogy, and subscribe. Bam! I'll see you next time. Bam!